Steve Evans, 1-0 here at St. Neas Town against Colchester United. What did you make of the game? Yeah, it was really competitive. Um, both managers got the opportunity, I think. I think Ben probably changed 20, 19, 20. We don't have that opportunity. But who we did get the opportunity to use, it was really good. But my recurrence of the game, I think for, for 30, 35 minutes, we are superb. The, the passing, the movement, the work rate, the energy, the regains, everything was good about a performance. They don't really have an effort and goal. I think they maybe had a corner. Um, and then they score against the run of play. Listen, we could all say we should defend it better. Kane should defend it better. It comes through a rock of bodies. I'll look at the video to see whether we should save it, but it probably looks beyond T, but we should do better. We went straight back up the other end, didn't we? We had a great reaction with two or three half chances. Then we got a brilliant goal. So great ball from Carl, brilliant set by Kane and, and Jordan Roberts for tonight for the first time in pre-season looked more like Jordan Roberts does and he's had a great strike second half we come out we moved the ball really well so we've we've made four or five good chances don't we two one-on-ones probably still more penalty than no given but that happens in pre-season um, and they tested it at the other end as well with a counter so it was really good some more minutes into the legs no injuries which is a relief after the weekend um, but hopefully we'll get one or two of them back you know, if not Saturday for for the going to St George and playing against Forest. Games like this, there are always plenty of positives to take. The positives today would be in the chances you made and the yeah. and the strength of opposition against in this stage of pre season. Yeah, listen, we had a better performance tonight than we did against Colchester at the back end of the season when we drew one one. I think Colchester in that game for me dominated for little spells. Um I think we'll be pleased with how we won it, when we won it, how we played it. And I think the game became a little bit tired in the last five, ten minutes. I think when you introduced, like they did, some uh, some changes, we made some changes, and you're perhaps bringing players on that have not played with that intensity before. Hence why we've seen the players that do. So, really pleased. Um, but pre-season, it's, it's never about a result. It's never about anything else other than it's a, a step in the right direction. And, and a big shout-out to St. Neas. I've just spoken to my chairman. I think they've... They've treated them as if King Charles has walked into the stadium. But in, and the same with the, the Colchester team with Robbie, they've, they've treated them the same. So when you play the carpet for surface, all volunteers. Um, I'll certainly be a friend of this club for a long time. I'll be back watching games and, and help them with their play if we can. That pitch here really helps as well because some of the football we were playing in the first 60, 65 minutes was really fun to watch and created those chances, as you said. Yeah, I just, I just tell our support. One of our supporters just commented, we played one football today, we did all last season. And he, he may have a point at times, but we, we, we did play with real passion, real hunger. That was the thing that impressed me. It was when we gave the ball away, how we had a shape, how we won it back. And we're playing against, you know, over the course of the 90. Colchester is, he's got a model a lot with, with younger players, but the, the, the talented players, that's why they brought Ben into the football club, you know, uh, and we all due respect to the previous manager that sat in the chair slightly before him. They weren't good enough. This guy's good enough. So we knew we'd have a test. And um, and Ben wanted that physical challenge that we bring. I think I think both managers go home tonight and I hope Ben's got no injuries, I really do, but both managers go home and, and tick the box and then we'll we'll regroup on uh, Thursday. Obviously our chairman and the ground staff will make sure that as best they can the Lamex is right. And if it's not that decision, I'll, I'll lie with the chairman. But hopefully, there's, I'm, I'm told there's not going to be an issue. So we, hopefully that's the case. So myself and chairman, I'll, I'll look tomorrow. And just finally, no sight of those lads who picked up injuries on Saturday? No, listen, we, you know, there's going to be players that get injured in pre-season. TVC is probably the, the only worry, if you like, going into the season. Um, Let's still be back in probably 10 days. Um, March, he should be available to, to train on Thursday. We could put him out here today. He just he just felt tightness, as Listy did. It's no, it's no big thing, especially with Elliot when he come back after a season out. You're always going to have issues. You're going to have different little niggles and strains. Um, and TVC was a bit more worrying than that, just in terms of a little twist in the knee. But it's not anything like a long season or months. And But it's, it's going to be a number of weeks for sure. And as pre-season progresses into the Ipswich Towns and the Spurs, do you kind of, does your transfer policy change? Do you kind of see what you need to add now as to what you did two weeks ago? No, no it doesn't change. We've been in the market to, to strengthen in the areas that we're trying to strengthen. Myself and Leon, I, I, I think we've probably spoke to each other more in the last week than we spoke in the whole, was it 15 months, 16 months I've been here? Um, because we're working so hard, our chairman's putting under his enormous pressure to to add to the group, but add good players to the group. I promised them that I would, when I first came into the football club, that stocking fillers were no more, and we're, we're not going to do it. Of course, we'll have players that come in that we think 
me play so many games, not all the games, but we've got to add some some players that we think is, is going to grab a starting shot. And the only things the lads that are currently in the camp can do is make it sure it's not one of them. Great. Thank you, Kaffa. And thank you to the supporters who have come up from Stevenage and from Colchester. It wasn't the biggest crowd in the world, but I'll tell you what, they, they made that a good atmosphere and, and we know money's hard to find these days, so thank you. Wonderful. Thank you.